Hello and welcome to Format Items in a List. My name is Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. I was recently asked the following question. How do I format values that appear in a list? And I'm gonna answer that question in this video. Exercise one. All right, the function that we're gonna use is match. Let's just get warmed up with the match function. Equals match. Basically, we're gonna ask the match function to try to find this comma in here, comma and zero for exact match. Close the function and enter. So what the match function is saying is that January is found in the first row within this list. Feb is found in the second row. June is found in the sixth row. December is found in the twelfth row. What if it's not found? So what if we type in like Q1? Well, it's not found, so it gives us an error. So the match function tries to find a value in a list. If it's found, it returns the position. Otherwise, it returns an error. And with that intro complete, let's move to the next exercise, exercise two. So going back to the original question, we'd like to highlight these transactions when the status is found in a list. So what we need is a formula that returns a true or false value if the status is found in this list. And as you can imagine, the match function is gonna be the basis for this formula, equals match. We wanna find this comma in this list, and I'll press F4 to create the absolute reference, comma, zero for exact match. Close the function and enter. And now we can fill this formula down. And now we can see when this status is not in the list, we get an error. If it is in the list, we get a number. So we can easily convert this to a true or false result simply by wrapping the is number function around the match function. Let's fill this updated version down. So now we can apply conditional formatting. In this exercise, we're just gonna format this highlight column, but in the next exercise, we'll highlight the status column instead. So we select the cells, go to conditional formatting, highlight cell rules equal to. And we say if this is equal to true, then we can pick whatever format we want and click OK. And this is how we can highlight the transactions when the status value is found in a list. And those are the basics, but we can definitely improve it. So let's go to the next exercise, exercise three. The first improvement we'll make is we're gonna convert this status range into a table. And that way it's easy to add new statuses that we want to be highlighted later. To do that, we simply select the range and click insert table. Now, we could conditionally format the ID column the status column, the amount column, or all of the columns, depending on your personal preference. Regardless, the steps are the same. We select the range that we want to conditionally format. Then we go to conditional formatting, new rule. And here we want to use a formula to determine which cells to format. And our formula is basically going to be the same logic that we did before. Equals is number match. And what we want to do is we want to match the status column value which is currently in C14. So we type in C14, but this is where we need to be careful because this formula is going to be applied to all of the columns that are selected. So we need to be careful about absolute versus relative cell references. So as this formatting formula is filled through this range, we need to lock the column reference onto column C. To do that, we're gonna put a dollar sign in front of C. And as this formatting formula is filled down throughout the range, we want that to be a relative row reference. So we're gonna leave the row reference 14 without a dollar sign. So we want to match that in this range, zero for exact match. We close the match function and close the is number function, and then we can pick a format. Here we can pick any format we'd like. Click OK and click OK. And now we can see that conditional formatting is applied to any rows where the status is found in our status list. And since we stored the status values in a table, this is totally dynamic. For example, we could add processing and hit enter and now processing is highlighted as well. And circling back to the original question, that's how we can format items that are found in a list. Hopefully this helped. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Hey, Excel user. If you ever need to create summary reports, check out my pivot table for beginners video. It starts at the beginning and shows how to store the data transactions in a table and then how to summarize those transactions with a pivot table report. I hope it helps unlock the incredible power of pivot tables. This video is a production of Excel University. 